What's up, good people of YouTube? Bill here, Guitar Struggles, and let's take a quick look at what our good friends from Google are doing. So let's go ahead and type in the word patriot and see if we can get a definition from our good friends at Google. And we get the standard definition of patriot where it says someone who supports their country, blah, blah, blah. And then we look at the synonyms that they give us, which is nationalist, loyalist. And then look, we also have xenophobe. And I don't remember that too much from the Encyclopedia Britannica. And honestly, Google makes me really, really miss the Encyclopedia Britannica. I think things were a lot simpler in those days and people just couldn't go around willy nilly fucking changing shit every time that they wanted to. Just because you support your country doesn't necessarily make you a xenophobe. Also, just because you don't want a bunch of illegal immigrants coming in to your country, that also doesn't make you a xenophobe. But this is the left's way of indoctrinating people. Indoctrinating people and shaming people into, into thinking the way that they want. They're very sneaky. They're very fucking sneaky with this shit. And, and fuck Google, okay? Fuck them. Other countries that don't want to let illegal immigrants in, they're, they're not xenophobic, so it should be stipulated in this definition that it only applies to Americans. But anyway, my point is that the left is changing fucking words, and I don't care, they can fucking have their words, but they change them all the fucking time, and it's very hard to keep up with, and it's got to be very confusing to children. Eventually, everyone's going to be fucked up. So they change the definition of words, and then they just create new fucking words. Like, one that bothers me, and it doesn't really bother me that badly, but I think it's stupid, is cisgender. Because you have transgender, and then you have fucking people that are normal about their gender. And I can tell you this, I'm not normal about a lot of shit, but when it comes to my gender, I'm pretty fucking normal. I identify with my chromosomes and my genitalia. So, and then on top of it, why do I have to get the worst? You get transgender for someone that's not normal, but then someone that's normal has to get cisgender, and it sounds like sissy. It's a stupid fucking word, and I reject it. I'm just going to be normal about my gender if someone asks me. Transgender, cisgender. Just normal. Just normal about my gender. Thank you. Thank you very much. Then somebody might say to you, How do you feel about people who own a bakery being forced into baking cakes for homosexual marriage. And you could say something like this, I don't know, I honestly, I haven't given it a lot of thought. Homophobe, why are you so fucking homophobic? Why are you so homophobic? Well, I'm not, honestly. And, and phobia, you know, phobia people, it doesn't mean what people think it means anymore. They throw that word around like bigot and racist and everything. A phobia is an irrational fear, or you could even say in, in some context it's an irrational dislike. And you honestly could be, just, just because you're not out vigorously supporting homosexuality and marching in parades does not mean that you're homophobic. It doesn't mean that you're afraid of homosexuals and or fags. It just, even if you don't like, there's some people that can't stand homosexuals, but they're not afraid of them. They just don't like them. It, it just fucking bothers them. But, and, but they get labeled as homophobic. We're very scared of it. And it's usually, everyone on the right is phobic. You're Islamophobic. What do you think about Sharia law? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, mutilating genitalia on women and children. Oh, really? Islamophobe. Why are you so Islamophobic? Uh, you know? Uh, so you get the, the phobia. How come that all these fucking lefties, they get all offended? Well, I, I don't like to, to hear about Christmas because it really offends me. How come they're not... Christianophobic or Christianphobic. No, they're actually, they're considered smart. They're considered fucking warriors. They're considered strong and brave, okay? Motherfucker. People that are crying about fucking Trump getting elected, that need a fucking safe space. How come they're not Trump-phobic? How come they're not fucking, any, they're just plain out fucking phobic. No, they're brave. Those are social justice warriors. These are fucking warriors. This language, they're twisting it into fucking knots where it doesn't even fucking fit anymore. It's so fucking stupid. And I reject it. I reject it. It doesn't offend me. I just fucking reject it. I've lived more than half of my life, and I'm not going to start fucking relearning my language. And if I moved to China or something like that, I would learn to speak Chinese. And if I moved somewhere else, I would learn to speak that. 
But I'm just gonna keep going the way that I've been fucking going because they change it. They change it all the time. African American. And they used to be Negro, and they even had a United Negro College Fund. Okay, can we say that anymore? I think it's frowned upon. Well, people of color, that's okay. Colored people, not so much. Not so fucking much. It's very hard to keep track of this shit. There's black people that aren't even from Africa. Some of them are from the Caribbean, okay? Well, I know what you're gonna say. Yes, but Africa was the original humans all, all all humanity started in Africa. Well, then why isn't everybody called African-American? It's fucking stupid. Just, again, trying to manipulate people's thought through fucking language and and shaming people into being so fucking confused that they shut the fuck up. And then before you know it, they stop fucking thinking. So just one of the many, many examples of how the left is usurping the, the language and trying to fucking brainwash people through through language. Not surprising, I just thought I would point it out. I'm sure there's many, many other examples too. This is one that I just happened to have come across. So until next time, everybody, your struggles are most definitely 100% my struggles. And I'm out of here.